Hi friends, pull up a chair, let's do yoga. Come to sit in a comfortable seat for you. Place down through the four corners of your feet. Two in the top near your toes and two in the bottom near your heel. Place down through your sitting bones. Bring your knees in line with your hips and your heels in line with your knees. Let your hands place down and root and ground yourself. Find your slow, steady breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more, in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Flippy flop your feet, walking down the street. Make them wave hello to everyone you meet. Flippy flop your feet, walking down the street. Make Everyone you meet. One more. Flippy flop your feet. Walking down the street. Make them wave hello to everyone you meet. Lift your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders down. Take your shoulders for a walk all around town. Lift your shoulders up. Drop Take your shoulders for a walk all around town. One more. Lift your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders down. Take your shoulders for a walk all around town. Make some energy. Make some energy. Make some energy. And breathe. Make some energy, make some energy, make some energy, and breathe. One more, make some energy, make some energy, make some energy, keep breathing and take those warm, warm hands and cup them over your ears and Make a wishing cup, make a wishing cup, make a wishing cup, and wish one wish into your cup. Send that wish way high up to the sky, catch what you need to make it come true. Some moonbeams, some stardust, some sunshine. Maybe some snowflakes and some wind and bring it all the way back down and drink it up and place it in your heart for safe. And shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And let's do that twice more. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And one more. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And Tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, tap it in all good, healthy wishes into your body, moving all the way down the front of your body, even to your feet and your toes. If you can lift your toes and your heels, do that and find even the bottoms of your feet and then the backs of your legs, the insides and the outsides, even your sitting bones. Receive a little attention, make fists and let your knuckles Hop in to your low back, find your middle back, reach both sides, to both sides of your arms, even your underarms. Reach one arm across, find your upper back, your shoulder and your neck. Other arm across, find your upper back, your shoulder and your neck, and your heart center. Release your hands and feel what you feel. your hands to your hips and toe heel 
toe heel, your feet a little wider. They can be on a diagonal here. Bring your arms out like you're making a five-pointed star. And twist and wrap your arms around you. If the chair is in the way, you have two choices. You can move up a little bit and bend your arms so when they, you wrap your arms, you don't bump into the chair. Or you can bring your feet a little closer, press into your legs and come to stand. Then bring your feet apart and wrap your arms around you and let your wrists and your forearms bump into you. Not to hurt you, but to give all of those wonderful pressure points our bodies come equipped with some good attention, moving side to side. And your arms move up your body until they find your shoulders and your upper back, and then back down your body. And you can do this in your chair or standing. See what works for you. And we'll go up one more time. And back down. And release and feel what you feel. A little washing away of anything and anything that truly is not ours. Of anything and anything that really truly does not feel like we need to hang on to it or drag it around anymore. And let's do a little more washing away. So you can start at your head and find your neck and even your hair and your heart center and your arms, your underarms and the front of your body and the back of your body and all the way down the leg until you find your feet again. And finally, we'll find a seat and bring the feet all back together so your heels can come together and your toes come apart. And we'll reach the arms in front of us and up your Thumbs cross, I like to hook my thumbs a little, and you lift your arms up and make a little upper back bend. Now, depending on how your neck feels, you might look forward and a little bit down. You might look forward and across, or you might look forward and up. You can do this from your chair, or you can bring your hands to your legs, press down, lift up, and do this from standing. Let me move to the side so you can see what it will look like. It's called Miracle Bend from your seat or from standing. Slow, steady breathing. And then your hands start to come forward. Your hips move back, your head moves forward, and you bow forward and let your head and neck release and your fingertips hang. You can do this from your chair or you can do this standing, slow, steady breathing in. Come now at your navel center, pulling in and up. Exhale, breath out, pump again at your navel center, otherwise known as the belly button, pulling in and up. Do it again, inhale. If you can, hold the breath a moment and pump. Exhale. Hold the breath a moment and pump. One more, inhale. Pump. Exhale, pump. Now from your seat or from standing, you're going to roll up. I'm going to come to the seat and show you what it would look like. Your feet come a little wider. If you can, release your head and neck and now pull that navel center in and up and keep breathing. No holding your breath now. And roll up slowly but surely. Press through your feet. Press through your seat. Imagine you're stacking one vertebra on top of the next until your shoulders, your ears, your chin, your crown.
crown of your head come back into alignment. And then find your feet and your seat where you feel comfortable. I'm going to move forward, so I'm using my center space to hold me up and not the back of the chair to hold me up. This is a Kriya to help us find balance between the mental and the emotional. The next part, we bring our feet wide, standing or seated. We bend at the elbows and our hands are floppy and we make circles with our hips. So when you're in your seat, you might move from one side to the other. I'll show you standing in a moment. Keep breathing, slow, steady breathing now. No holding your breath, no pumping. And I'll show you standing. Your legs are long. Arms are doing the same thing, elbows bent, hands are floppy, and your hips are moving from one side to the other, like you're tracing the shape of the full moon with your hips. Slow, steady breathing. If you feel more comfortable, do this from your chair. If it's all right for you to stand, give it a try. Notice your knees, even though your legs are long, we do not want the knees to lock. Next time you come, center, pause a moment and reverse your circle. or from standing, your arms come long. Your, you can adjust your feet if you need to feel more steady and stable. Your arms start to reach forward one at a time, up and back. Other arm forward, up and back. You're making circles with your arms. Your hands are staying away from your body and you start to move forward with your spine long about halfway and then you come back up and make that little upper back bend from standing or from your chair which makes the most sense for you front of your chair so you don't bump into the back of your chair feet are planted legs can come wider so you have good stability Arms reach up and back, up and back, and then you come forward. Make sure your seat is good and connected to the chair as you come forward, breathing slow, steady breath. And then you come back up, and this time you bring a little upper back bend. And you go forward. And back up. And one more. Let's go forward. Spine is long. And up. Upper back bend. And release. Slow, steady breathing. You completed the set or the Kriya. Well done. We need a song. Please ground through your feet and ground through your seat. Bring your index finger and middle finger together. Let your traditional ring and pinky come down. Thumbs hold them down. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. Satam nam, satam nam, satam nam ji. Wahe dee, wahe dee, wahe dee ji. Satam nam, satam nam, satam nam ji. Wahe dee, wahe dee, wahe dee ji. I am happy, I am good. I am happy, 
I am good. Satanam, 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 G. Wahegiri, 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 G. Satanam, 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 G. Wahegiri, 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 G. One more. I am happy. I am good. I am happy. I am good. Satanam, 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 G. Wahegiri, Wahegiri, Wahegiri. Satanam, 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 G. Wahegiri, 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 G. Big balloon breath in. Big balloon breath out. Reaching your arms up overhead. Thumbs lift up. Fingers curl in. Your own unique personality is represented by your thumbs lifting up. Slow, steady inhale. Slow, steady exhale. On an inhale, bring your thumb tips to meet overhead. And on an exhale, open your hands and trace your own energy field. Imagine that energy field around you, protecting you and projecting you. Let's try it another way. Sorry, I have some hair in my face. On an inhale, reach your arms up, thumbs up, fingers curl in. A different kind of breath work this time. Slow, steady inhale. Breath of fire. Do you remember breath of fire? Your navel center pumps in and up, and that pushes the exhale out your nose. Thumb tips together, breathe. Oh, they're there somewhere together. There they are. On your next exhale, imagine tracing your own energy field. And remember, how we project is how we protect. And how we protect is how we project. This next one is a meditation to deal with life. One hand comes out. You need it to be your right hand. So see, if you're making a backwards letter L, that's your right hand. Four fingers curl in, thumb up. Other hand comes around those fingers, thumbs up, gaze to your thumbs and slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breath out. Pause and hold the breath a moment. Breathe in for a count of five. Breathe out for a count of five. Pause and hold the breath for your own moment. Breathe in five seconds. Breathe out five seconds. Hold the breath. Working up maybe to 15 seconds not until you're going to burst. Do at your own pace. Breathe in, bring your hands to your heart center, 
and let's take rest. I have my handy blocks to lift my feet up. I'm going to place my blocks a little higher so my feet will go a little higher. I have my blanket to place behind my back to prop me up a bit. You might like a pillow or maybe you have a sweatshirt you can place between your back and the chair. And maybe you have a little layer of a sweater or a scarf or a shawl to cover you up while you rest and stay warm. If you don't have these things, no worries, you don't need them. But sometimes it's nice to have something to give you a little comfort when you're resting. I'm going to cross my ankles the other way. Ah, oh, that feels better. And if you have a little shelf that you could put your feet up on, that would be nice for your circulation to lift your ankles a bit. And we'll relax our fingers and toes. And rest our ankles and knees. Knees and elbows take rest. Hips and jaw bones move. Tongue rests gently in the roof of your mouth. And I'm going to bring my hands up and overhead to interlace fingers and let my head lean back moment into my hands so my shoulders release a bit. Starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes. How to give your body a really good stretch through your fingertips and toes here. And bring one knee in for a good old hug. Maybe you'll hold underneath your leg. Maybe you'll hold in front of your leg. Sometimes we need a little something under the leg to help us pull that leg in closer to you. You could find a towel or a blanket and then that foot comes down and we'll bend the other leg and lift other leg toward us and that foot comes down. I like to press my hands into the side of my chair and then come up to sit and you can cover your spine or your backbone which is one of the parts of the body we're almost always working to take care of in yoga to keep our spine supple. Let your hands rest open Plant your feet on the ground again through the four corners. And let's do our sa ta na ma. Thumb to index, thumb to middle, thumb to traditional ring, thumb to pinky. Sa ta na ma. Sa ta na. I'm not singing. Sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. Sa ta na ma. Whispering. with your hands open, receiving all of that wonderful energy you just created for yourself. 
and therefore for others. And knowing that energy is contagious, and that's what we want to spread and share, that good, healthy, loving, kind energy. May the long time sun shine upon you, all of surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. We'll close with a long stop and a short hum three times after we breathe in. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Namaste Om Shanti 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 Om Peace May you have peace, may you be peace, and may you share peace. Thank you, friends, for sharing yoga with me. Be well. Please take good care of yourself and each other. Until next time.